Welcome to this lesson. In our previous lesson, we looked at classification in biology according to Aristotle. In this lesson, we'll be looking at same but according to John Ray and Carolus Linnaeus. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to identify the role of John Ray and Carolus Linnaeus in biological classification. Now, this is John Ray, one of the three main taxonomists who played key roles in classifying living organisms. Now, he's a British naturalist who lived between the years of 1627 and 1917-05. He was credited with classifying living organisms based on their species, or the species of organisms. So he introduced the concept of species. At a point, his form of classification was referred to as species classification. And as far as the word species go, we define it as a group of organisms that are so alike that they can interbreed or mate to produce fertile offsprings. So the key words in the definition are the organisms should be alike. And then when they interbreed or mate, they should be able to produce fertile offspring. So any two animals that cannot produce fertile offspring when they meet alike are of different species, like a cat and a dog. They belong to two different species. Then um, an elephant and a horse are two different species of animals. But when you take a male human being and a female human being, they are the same species of living organisms and who can interbreed to produce fertile offsprings. Okay. So far the way species go, both singular and plural are species. So under no circumstance should you write species as a singular form of the word species. So if you have just one animal and you want to consider it as a species of animal, you don't write it without an S to indicate the singular form. This is wrong. Same way, if you want to write the plural form for species, you don't add another S or ES to indicate that it's in a plural form. This is also wrong. So whether singular or plural, the word is species. Next is Carolus Linnaeus, who is a Swedish botanist. He lived between the years 1707 and 1778. Um, he was 71. And he also played a very key role, some immense role in biological classification. As a matter of fact, his form of classification is what we still use in present times. So he used the system of classification based on the natural relationship that existed between the living organisms. Now he put organisms with similar structures into the same groups and those with different or varying structures into different groups. He later introduced the concept we refer to as the binomial, the binomial nomenclature. So that is a concept that we still adopt today in modern um, classification. Now, the concept of binomial nomenclature largely just boils down on the word to. So by referring to, so binomial largely for two. The nomenclature largely refers to the naming or the name given to um, an object or an organism. So the binomial nomenclature largely refers to a two name or a two word name given to living organisms. Now they also classified, he also classified living things into a hierarchy of taxa or groups. 
So from the highest to the lowest, different taxa or groups that the living organisms belong to. And that largely summarizes what happens in the case of um, John Ray and Carolus Linnaeus. Now in this lesson, we looked at classification in biology according to John Ray and Carolus Linnaeus. We mentioned John Ray's system of classification largely looked at the species of organisms. And Carolus Linnaeus looked at the natural relationship that existed between the organisms. And he's also credited for their binomial system of nomenclature. In our next lesson, we'll continue our discussion in classification in biology. See you in the next lesson.